Hello there and welcome back. Okay, before we go into my next uh, phase, my next test into the Manjaro Linux challenge, I need to read a comment and respond because it's, it's rather important. This is from, let's see, from Timothy. Hello, Timothy. He says, Dear Toss Today, I have a general bleep to make against all presenters who use virtual software to demo new software. Remember, it is easy for you, but if your viewers plan to install Linux Lite or any other software, on their machines, it is never easy or as problem-free as when we saw the demo on virtual software. There are many of you who use virtual software. I hope to convince you and all those who demo on virtual software to rethink the truthfulness, in quotes, of any demo composed on virtual software. I do appreciate your contribution to the community of YouTube learners. Please think again, stop using virtual software. Timothy, thank, thank you again for posting. I would have to agree in generally speaking, yes, uh, VirtualBox, it's, it's a great convenience to test just about any Linux distribution out there. In terms of a full test, you really never know, do you, until you do a full install test on a test machine. I generally have, um, I use two test machines. This is my main machine here for YouTube. I have a Lenovo desktop that I use for testing. And right now I'm keeping Ubuntu 16.04 on it. I have a laptop that I could use to test other types of Linux distros. Realistically and ideally, I would love to have 10 machines because for me, as a dual booter, doing this a long time, at any given moment there are probably, there are probably 10, one, through 10, up to 10 Linux distros that I could test at any one time. Now, I suppose I could go out and buy 10 more machines or eight more machines and have everything ready to go and say, hey, I did a full install test on this HP or a full install, and this is the real deal. And that would be marvelous, but it's just not feasible. And if I did that, that would pretty much be the end of this channel. AdSense revenue just does not covet, cover it anymore. And that's been a challenge for many YouTubers, I'm sure. But that being said, I am testing this inside a virtual box. And if you guys don't agree with it, or you think it sucks, or it's uncool, I completely understand. And let me apologize before I continue if that's what you think. But for now, this is the best that I can do. And I don't want to shut down this channel by spending all the other stuff, you know, buying uh, other stuff if you guys know what I mean. Okay, now that that's out of the way, this is a test in a virtual box and Manjaro, I've been told, is virtual box friendly. So that's a good start. Okay, so I'm doing this from the eyes of a newbie or as best as I can, uh, pretending to be a newbie or a beginner. Okay, so I love the default color on the desktop. I used to have a car this color, teal, I think it's, I, I think it's nice. Okay, so the last time I did this, I did the Calamari or Calamaris installer. Yes, the Squid installer. It didn't work. So this time, let's use, I believe this is the standard installer. So let's try this. Now, I will run this unedited video. What you see is what you get in a virtual box. If it crashes, it crashes. But I think, I th I think we'll be okay. This is the latest version of Manjaro 16 dot something. Okay, so again, this is going to be self-explanatory. Uh, not in Berlin. So let's see if I can get this over here. All right, that'll work. Go forward. All right, USA is fine. And by the way, if all you ha if you are a beginner to this and all you have is one Windows machine, you can safely test this inside your Windows machine by running VirtualBox. It won't hurt anything, usually. Okay, so, so far, so good. And yeah, forward, is it gonna go forward? And it froze. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there we go. I guess it's taking its time. Okay. All right. Fair enough. 
Okay, so you can write in any name you want. I'll just use my nickname here, Toss, T-O-S. And again, Toss, password, yeah, why not Toss all the way. And Now you guys should pick a better password, of course, if you're gonna use this. This is just for testing purposes. Password is required to log in, go forward. Okay, so, so far the installer is well, what can I say? It's newbie friendly. Just click and go, just like you would in Windows. So we'll let this do its thing. You can browse through this uh, as it is installing. And if you're going to run this in a virtual machine, make sure you have a quad core. Most, I would imagine, a lot of today's computers are at least a quad core with plenty of RAM. So, yeah, make sure you have at least a quad core if you want this to run fairly smoothly. smoothly in a virtual machine. Quick look at all the software here. This is, I would say for beginners, this is probably pretty much everything you need to get started. I've been told that because this is based on Arch, the documentation on the Arch Wiki is very thorough and extensive. And if you have an issue, you're probably gonna find an answer or a solution there. Now, one thing about this, you really need to be patient uh, for something like, like this. This is a rolling release type of system. Again, I won't go to all the technical details because you really should, you really need to read this if you're going to run this as an everyday machine or attempt to. So once again, this is just uh, the slideshow uh, as you install this. You can right click on the desktop as you could of course in Windows and and there you go. You have some shortcuts here to all of your software. Again, it's very, very easy. Um, at least this part is in my opinion. A little bit about the XFCE desktop environment. Again, it is based on Arch. Now, my previous tests in the past, in general, Manjaro freaking flies, but I just haven't found it to be quite as stable or as reliable as you would say an LTS. But that's just me. Your mileage may vary, again, depending on your machine, depending if it's a VBox or not. But generally speaking, I do not prefer rolling releases in general. That doesn't mean that this is no good. It does not mean that at all. It is strictly a matter of preference. But if you can learn this and you like speed, man, this thing, even in the VBox, should run very, very smoothly. All right, so, so far, no crashes. I'm not seeing anything unusual, no hiccups. Once again, Manjaro, I've been told, is very virtual box friendly, which, of course, will make it much, much easier for a beginner if they, don't, if they do not have a test machine, just wanted to test this inside a virtual machine. And even if you would happen to have one, one test machine, a spare machine, that's even better. Okay, so let me do this. Let me go ahead and pause this. Again, no editing. What you see is what you get. So let me go pause this. I'm using Kazam Screen Recorder, a very popular screen recorder. And let me pause it. And uh, just to let you know, I am running Zubuntu 16.04 as my main Linux operating system. Let me pause this and I'll be back. Okay, so the installation appears to be successful. I'm going to reboot and uh, we shall see what happens. All right, that's a good sign. And uh, nice full screen. We don't have to worry about guest editions, at least not yet. So. Let's go ahead and go fuller screen. We'll let this finish up here. And uh, yeah, it looks like it works fine. Make sure you read, take the time to read some of this documentation. But um, I didn't have a problem. Uh, nice, quick, easy install. So far, a fluid install, nothing, you know, goofy or crazy about the installation and um, it seems to be fine at least so far in a VBox so yeah this is a lot better experience with the other installer whatever that was versus the Calamaris installer so uh, the Manjaro challenge part two is a 
success. That's all I have for this one. Part three, I guess, will go into the um, update process and stuff like that. That's all I have. Thank you again so much for watching and listening. If you haven't already, uh, consider subscribing to this Total OS Today technology uh, channel and maybe help support this channel. As always, enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. Catch you later.